Don't touch me. Please. I just need a few moments to snap out of it. Hell of a night, huh? <laughs> Are you okay? Just tell me the truth. Are you okay? Then why are you standing weirdly like that? Did I? Did something happen to you last night? I do need to know. Because if I hurt you... There's blood on your clothes. It's not from a cut. You're the most careful cook I know. You don't cut yourself ever. Besides, unless you were cutting something on your stomach. I thought you'd be bleeding from there. Did... Did you get hurt there? Well, I do want to talk about it. Because I think I hurt you. The wolf and I are the same. It doesn't matter where I remember it or not. Let me see. Stop trying to change the subject. And let me see. Now. That looks bad. Like going to the hospital bad. You'll need stitches. It doesn't matter if you apply pressure. It's still bleeding. We need to stop the bleeding. You're not fine. You're bleeding on our kitchen floor. It's my fault. Tell me what happened last night. I know you already hurt. Just tell me how. Not knowing will drive me crazy. Wait. I should call for help first. Give me the phone. What part of your still bleeding do you not understand? Something vital could have been pierced. You could be bleeding internally. We need you to get checked out. Just let them look at you. Make sure you're not running low on anything. The longer we stand here, the worse you could be. I know how to do them, but that doesn't mean... Fine, sit down. Are you sure you want me to do this? The hospital could give you some painkillers and numb you before. We could make up a story. Say you got, I don't know, attacked by a mountain lion or something? Leave it to you to be worried about a pretend mountain lion being killed. I'll have to disinfect us. It's gonna sting. I know, I know. Shh, almost there. You're going to need at least four stitches. Maybe six? Are you sure you don't want me to? Fine. If you need to, grab my arm. Ready? Here we go. One. Two. I know, I know. You're almost there. Just hold on. Three. And four. There. Just let me tie it off. All done. Baby, look at me. You're all done. You did great. All I remember is you pulling me into the basement. Then, nothing. What happened? The chains broke? I was loose? In the house? Fuck! You should have let me outside. It's better to hurt someone else rather than you. Because I couldn't live myself if I hurt you. You're the one good thing I have in my life. If I were to kill you, I couldn't forgive myself. I can't, I can't do this anymore. You spent the night playing hide and seek with a werewolf that could have killed you. That almost killed you. How do you think I feel knowing I put you in that kind of danger? Don't touch me. Please. This has to end. This. Us. It's over. 
I'm not overreacting. It's only by sheer luck we're still having this conversation right now. I could have woken up and found your lifeless body there. Do you have any idea how many times I've seen that nightmare? How it haunts me? But I told myself I could do this. That I could keep you safe. We had a plan and it worked. But that it's over. It failed. And I was a fool to think I could live both worlds. I'm a monster. Yes, I am. I'm a monster that almost killed you last night. Stay away from me. I can't. I can't risk you. Just forget I ever came into your life. We're breaking up. Yeah. We're done. Love has nothing to do with this. Love can't keep you safe or prevent me from becoming a monster once a month. I'd rather lose you and know you're safe than having you and seeing your lifeless eyes in my nightmare. Don't come near me. It's over. We tried. No one can say we didn't try. But I was wrong. I'm a monster that needs to be left alone. Goodbye, love.